Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, a couple of sweet wines here, half bottles, uh, they're off, but from opposite sides of the world. So I've got one from New Zealand and uh, one from Italy. And they're both made, um, I, I'm pretty sure from what, what I've, uh, I, I've read about them, uh, without any botrytis. So um, they are made from grapes that have been allowed uh, to shrivel, either in the first case on the vine, so, uh, or in the second case, um, it's, um, it's a wine made in the, what they call the Pasito method. So they'll pick the grapes and leave them on a straw mat somewhere in the sun to, uh, uh, to dry, dry out, concentrate the flavour, concentrate the sweetness. Anyway, let's give them a whirl. First one is uh, uh, from Nelson in New Zealand, and it's Seyfried's Sweet Agnes Riesling. Uh, Agnes is uh, named in honour of Agnes Free, um, Seyfried, uh, co-founder of the estate with her husband, Herman. Well, this smells, it's got a little bit of the uh, Riesling petrol -y character, uh, but it's got this juicy, quite voluptuous, um, almost peachy fruit, um, even a little bit of raspberry, which is quite unusual. You don't think of having raspberry in a, in, in a white wine. Um, what, it, it, it seems to have um, a lot of intensity, a little bit of honey in there, uh, but uh, also some floral characters. It doesn't feel like it's going to be one of those that wants to overwhelm you with... Uh, uh, with massive power, ten and a half percent alcohol, so it's not uh, it, 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 sweet rieslings. Never will try and overwhelm me with alcohol, but sometimes they will try and seduce you with sugar. Let's see whether this is uh, seductive in that way, uh, in a good way or a slightly slappery way. I don't think it's going to be a slapper. Well, it's more uh, more syrup than honey, um, and I get that classic sweet and sour tension. That, uh, that Riesling is, is known for. So there's that sweet edge, but then there's this bite of citrus acidity. I wouldn't be surprised if it's uh, had a little bit of a helping hand from uh, uh, a touch of, um, touch of added acidity. Uh, in terms of balance, uh, it feels like there is this, it's certainly no faulting its intensity, um, but in terms of its delicacy, which is something I look for in, in good, in, well, in all wines really, uh, it may be, is um, just a little bit too forceful. Um, it's honest and rich in flavour, and it's certainly uh, very attractive, but um, when I try a really good Rheingau Auslaser or something like that, there is something effortless and dainty about them. Here, it feels a little bit, um, yeah, slightly, not clumsy, but um, just not uh, as fine-boned as uh, I, I would like. It's good, but not great. Let's see whether the second one is good or great, or somewhere either side or in between. Um, so this is uh, Pellegrino uh, Pantelleria uh, Passito Licoroso, 2015 vintage. Um, and um, uh, so this is from the island of Pantelleria, which is just off the, the coast of Sicily. And uh, they, they, it's one of those places where they've, uh, they've, they've Pellegrino is known for Marsala. But um, it, with the lacking popularity of Marsala, uh, they're now making wines like this. So let's see what this is like. And this is, um, I mean, the, the great is Moscato, or, or Zibibo, as, as they, they call it locally. And it's a much more barley sugar meets Christmas cake uh, and candied peel, really rich candied orange peel. It smells like, if anything, it's going to be a touch drier. Um, and 15% uh, alcohol, and um, so, it, but th th that concentration of the grape that happens with the grapes when they uh, uh, when they do the drying process makes for a, a really full throaty wine. Uh, but um, can't remember whether they fortify this up to 15%. Whether they make it a bit sweet, uh, unfermented sugar, and then fortify it up. I wouldn't be surprised if this is naturally 15%, and then the rest is sweetness. Anyway, I'll shut up and taste it. Fascinating contrast between those two. Um, the Seyfried is probably the the one that um, is, it, it, it almost feels like it's just trying that little bit too hard. Uh, whereas the Pantelleria, um, it's just very happy to be rounded, rich, concentrated. Uh, it's not hugely complex, but it's got this barley sugar, this, um, these, slight, these uh, orangey flavours, cooked oranges, and a little bit of uh, spice in there, almost something rose petal like, um, the treacle toffee, and it's just a very, uh, it feels like a more happy wine. It's more content in its bottle. The Seyfried still feels a little bit, uh, 
yes, I'm intense and I'm, uh, uh, I've got a lot going on, but um, the, the pantelleria just seems to be, hey, you know, here I am. In terms of what I want, want to drink them with, um, those, those flavours that I'm getting in the, um, uh, in the pantelleria uh, and with sweet muscats in general make me think I want to have that with, uh, with toffee, uh, toffee-based puddings or chocolate puddings, dark chocolate puddings, um, and I said more milky, milk stroke dark chocolate. Um, and uh, whereas the, the Seyfried with those fruitier notes, uh, maybe with, a, with fruitier puddings. Um, and probably both of them are a little bit too sweet for, uh, for cheeses. But in terms, if, it, if I had given the choice, I would probably go for the Pantelleria as uh, the, my wine of preference, even though I normally prefer Riesling. But today, um, it's Muscat rather than Riesling. Hey, see you soon.